can't do this anymore. You can't do what? Bianca, please tell me what is going on. This was a bad idea. Wait, no, wait. Come here. Come here. A homicidal sociopath locked us in this closet. We could have given in to the fear, sat there paralyzed in the dark, but instead, we did this together. And yeah, we did. Yeah. After sharing something like that with somebody, there is nothing that you could say or do that would change the way I feel about you. Love. I want to tell you. Come here, sit down. Oh, oh God, I'm so sorry. Sit down. No. I hurt you. No, I'm, I'm fine. No, I hurt you. Let me. JR. I should answer this. It could be about AJ. Of course. JR? This is the manager at the yacht club. Is there something wrong with JR? Oh, I'm afraid he's been involved in an altercation. He's fine, but he probably should not drive himself home. I'll be right down. Is everything all right? <sighs> JR is in the bar downstairs and he got into some kind of fight. I should go. Marissa, you still love him, don't you? I have no right to press you about JR. Bianca, I made you promise to watch my back when it comes to getting sucked back into a relationship with JR. I mean, that's what you're doing. I want you to be honest. Well, I want that too. I would be lying to you and to myself if, if I didn't admit that JR's been winning me over. Even if it is because he's found my weakest point and he's very good at working it. You just want to be a part of a family. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see, you really get me. I'm starting to wonder if I still have a chance to have that with JR. Bianca, I trust you. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm going to be with JR, but if there's a reason that you think I shouldn't. I, I just want you to be happy. So if JR is the one who makes that happen, then I am 100% behind you. He's waiting for you. Yeah, he is. You were going to tell me something. I just told you all of this drama. But I don't want to run out on you without you telling me what's going on. Another time. Is that the new model? I've been trying to get my hands on them. being friendly don't you don't need to freak out uh, would you rather i call the police on my new phone okay i'm out okay next time keep your grabby little hands to yourself but thanks we'll make sure he knows he's not welcome here thank you what is going on i'm just tired of it i'm tired of never being safe anywhere i go okay. i'm sorry go. i gotta go
thank you for coming to my rescue. I didn't want them to call you, but they didn't feel comfortable with me behind the wheel. It's okay. Just come here. Let me see. Ooh, that is not too bad. Isn't this where you tell me that I should see the other guy? It was a sucker punch. I didn't even see it coming. Huh. Well, that really surprises me, considering how many times you've goaded people into punching you over the years. I'd have thought you'd see it coming from a mile away. Ouch. Now, that hurt more than the right cross that I just Ooh. took. Seriously, though, did you give the police a description? Did they arrest somebody? I swear, it was completely unprovoked. Who hit you, JR? Me. For once, JR is telling the truth. I punched him. The man had no right to touch me. He was invading my personal space. He was, he was leaning into me. You're right. You think you're fine. That the world is OK. And then that you have everything under control. And then some monster knocks you out and drags you into his hotel room and ties you up in a closet. And that is not OK. That'll never be OK. I did this. I brought another Michael Cambius into our lives, and you're the one who paid the price again. JR. No, no, no. I wasn't planning on staying for dinner. I'd rather be working on the gatehouse. See you later. You know he's going through a lot with Madison and the baby. Yeah? And that justifies him assaulting me? Since I'm the one who had to take it on the chin, I would appreciate if you would not defend him to me. Hey, I'm not offering you a new car or anything, but I've got plenty. Just got your text. <laughs> Worried about you. Call me. Look, I appreciate it. I really do, but, um... I'm here to work, not uh, talk. It's a good thing you're working on the gatehouse. Yeah, well, since I can't fix anything else in my life. <laughs> Look, can I ask you something? Sure. Why, Marissa? Why do you want to get back with JR? I mean, really, you could do so much better. You could be with someone who actually cares about someone besides himself. This isn't. Your fault. None of this is your fault. What Ricky did to you, it brings you back to, to what happened with Michael Cambius. It just it triggers some bad memories. It brings back some ghosts I thought I'd put to rest. Well, I should have said no. I mean, when you asked to help me, I, I, I shouldn't have let you. But no, no, that was my choice. And I don't regret it. Ricky will rot for what he did. First in prison, and then in hell. This morning, I, uh, I went back to his hotel room. Why? I thought th that if I could just do that, then I, I could take control again. You know, I, I would see that it was just some closet in this room, and I, I fought my way out. I thought I, I would feel strong again. And proud. I just promised myself after my call that I would never be scared again. Why? You just, why didn't you just call me? You should have called me. I would have gone with you. You didn't have to go do this alone. I wasn't, I wasn't alone. Marissa was there. Good. Good. I know the two of you have gotten close. You said that, that I'm brave. But you're wrong. All I am is a, a hypocrite. I don't know. Maybe the reason I hit JR was because I'm jealous. I mean, my cousin managed to make happen with you something that I couldn't with Madison. To get the woman I love back under the same roof. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of which, I've got a gatehouse to work on, so... Hey, I'm only here for AJ. 
I hope so. women who have endured the most horrific abuse. They live with these, these nightmarish experiences every minute of their waking lives to the point where it starts to define who they are. And I tell them that they only have to just believe in themselves, that they have this, this inner strength inside of them. If they can just tap into that, they can stop feeling like victims and, and become survivors. You, you help them. I mean, you help them, them move from feeling powerless to powerful. That's what you do. Yeah, but how can I do for them what I can't even do for myself? You stop, you stop, stop right there. You do not get to, to, to guess how, who you are and, and, and how far you've come. You can't second guess that. You are so strong. You're one of the strongest people I've ever met. I mean, just the fact that you went into Ricky's hotel room shows how strong you are. Just because you're scared doesn't mean you're a victim. After everything you went through, you're here. And you are safe because you made it that way. Thanks, you are a role model to your children and to women everywhere, including me, including your big sister. And you to me. Cane woman to cane woman. You live up to that name and keep fighting. And Mom and I will be right there with you. Uh, it's Marissa. Someone else is in your corner. Why aren't you answering? Hey. Hey. You know I hated leaving you the way I did. How's JR? He's fine. I'm more worried about you. Jumpy. I can't help it. Uh, well, I'm with Kendall right now. I have to go. I'll call you later. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. You didn't have to hang up because of me. I mean, Marissa was, was there for you during your divorce. So the two of you can help each other through this. No. No, I can't lean on Marissa. Not anymore. Hey, what's up? Oh. <laughs> <gasps> okay, am I missing something about you and Marissa? Because I know how, how close the two of you are. You've, you've become great friends. In fact, she even told me that after everything with Ricky, she was going to look out for you. Well, I don't want her to have to do that for me. Thanks. She is just as appreciative of you helping her get out of that closet. Okay, please, please, just let's just leave it alone. Marissa's very busy with AJ and JR. Biggs, come on. This is me, okay? I can see it. I, I can see there is something, something is tearing you up inside. There is something going on with you, and you have to tell me what it is. There is a very good reason why I don't want to get too close to Marissa right now. Well, what possible reason could that be? Uh, I'm falling in love with her. 